Welcome back to another After Pulse video. In this one, we're going to be sharing with you a quick little update that the After Pulse team introduced with the latest Gamma Protocol update, at least the latest major update. And so, if you go to the inbox, you got your little news section. We have a Gamma Protocol bug fixing entry. And if you check that out, there are a handful of items listed there. But one of them, the thing that we're focusing on and testing in this video, is that they optimized the loading times of the inventory and so if you guys have watched my videos for a minute you know that's probably the number one thing that I've complained about over the years since I've started playing this game it's been the weirdest bug the craziest bug the stupidest bug in my opinion I'd really be interested to know why it was so laggy in the past and it seemed to always be correlated with training energy and you see here once you go to training from the home screen you can see your energy 30 out of 30 at the top there at least back in the day this did change you got more energy a higher cap level if you will as you leveled up so we are max level level 200 just throwing that out there in case anybody has less than 30 energy maybe your max is like 20 or something and you're wondering why I'm guessing they still do that nowadays as you level up but I could be wrong I don't know but We'll jump into warehouse and do a quick training match then we're gonna see what the results are like and so this was always an issue man always an issue major issue I'm not sure if your inventory size matters I should also note that I'm now playing on the iPhone XR so maybe it's just all around a little bit smoother on you know one of the latest devices with the I don't know faster updated processor whatever uh, compared to older devices that I played on like the iPhone SE or iPhone 8 you know various different iPad models things like that so this isn't 100% conclusive if I wanted to do a better test to see how much they optimized it if it's completely not an issue anymore I would test on the same device that I know for a fact I've had issues with in the past but take it for what it's worth here we're taking a look at the iPhone XR and I was going to cut this training match out of the video, but I think we'll keep it in, man. I haven't got a training match on video in a long time. Uh, so obviously just doing some live commentary here. We'll throw that, ex <laughs> throw that excuse into the mix. You guys know the deal by now. You know how it goes. Anything to make myself look better. Or to throw out a reason that I can't really control. For why I might miss a shot or why I might die to Ward's 4-star rocket launcher in one shot. Totally nothing up with that. <laughs> Pretty sure if anybody in real multiplayer hits you with a four-star rocket launcher, I don't think it would take you out in one shot. Not with the gear that I'm wearing. So yeah, kind of interesting there, but <laughs> uh, we got under a minute left here, almost 12,000 score, and there's really no reason to keep doing training nowadays. If anybody still does it, let me know. Definitely let me know why. I might jump in. Actually, I do jump in once a day, and I'm sure most of you guys do as well, just to complete those daily missions, which is low-key stupid. I mean, it's not a big deal. They, I'm fine if they leave it the way it is. But it's kind of stupid that they make you do a training match. One of the challenges to get 10 gold is to finish first in a training match. You have to do a training once a day if you want that 10 gold. So honestly, I mean, they should just get rid of training completely since you can't even play offline anyway. Like custom matches should be the new training. If you want to play against bots, you could just set up a custom match. So honestly, I think they could completely get rid of training and they have moved in that direction. There's no motivation other than that 10 gold daily uh, to do it once per day. Other than that, there's no motivation. So they have moved away from it, which I am a big fan of. I know some of you guys enjoyed farming back in the day. That's a whole different discussion. Um, but hopefully you'll agree that it's better nowadays with all the blue training handguns you get, things like that. You know, you can play multiplayer and acquire all of those things to level up your guns. Just kind of a different way to do the same thing you did back in the day, a more exciting way to do the same stuff you did back in the day. Uh, but that's a whole separate topic, so we'll leave it at that. And so we did that training match just to make sure our energy went down a little bit. So we're 27 out of 30. Uh, we can assume that this is regenerating. Time left until you get one. You see the timer counting down there. Actually, refill energy is zero gold. That's very interesting. 
Very, very interesting. They should just get rid of the energy completely. I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing with this. Uh, <laughs> but the test is scrolling through our inventory. All right, so we're looking at our primary weapons here and it is feeling normal. It is feeling the same way it does when you have max energy. So that is a very, 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 very good sign. <laughs> You gotta love it, you gotta love it. Scroll through the secondaries here, man. No issues at all. We're just gonna go a little bit further and keep testing this. We'll buy a couple weapons in the shop here. Uh, we only got 301 gold. Not about to spend gold on a blue training gun crate. Not about to buy three specialist crates. Trying to save up for another Tiger gear pack if you guys saw my video opening a couple of these. Probably not worth it, but I want that six star white Tiger stuff, it's so bad. Uh, so hopefully we can save up before they disappear. I kind of doubt that we'll be able to, and I'm just not going to spend real money on the game at this current point in time, uh, but that's a separate topic as well. Let's see, I think they got rid of the 10 pack of weapons. Or no, there we go, there we go. We can at least buy that. We don't have much cash. I have, please don't get mad at me for this, but <laughs> I have been spending my 200,000 cash Generally, each time that I have enough to get an extra blue training handgun, I think it's a bit expensive. It might be a better idea in the long run to hold on to that cash and see if they offer like special deals with the blue training handguns, like if they offer them for 45,000 cash again, like they have in the past. Uh, so something to keep in mind, but I have just been spending it as I get it basically. Um, you know, cash isn't too hard to come by nowadays. You do get 25,000 for each victory in the event mode. And we're gonna open another 10 pack here just for the sake of having several new things in our inventory to scroll through. We're going to power up a weapon and just double check that there is no lag going on as we scroll through our inventory. So yeah, let me know in the comments, uh, maybe what device you're playing on and if this issue is fixed for you. I mean, this, with this fixed, I definitely feel more inclined to spend money to support the game. I think it's these little user experience features that really need to be fixed in this game. And I'm so glad that they did fix this one. And just those little quality of life improvements are what make me feel that I'm supporting something and, and my dollars going to good use when I spend money on a game like this. So really, really glad to see this. And well, I should wait to test this out but I think it's gonna work just fine. And yeah, man, we're scrolling through just fine. I mean, we'll just mess around and tap a couple buttons here to double check. Maybe a little bit of lag there. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit. I mean, it's pretty much unnoticeable. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty much completely normal. So that is really, really good to see. Just messing around here. Yeah, man, it is looking good. It is looking good. So uh, now we got to scroll all the way up to recent. They should. One idea is that they should make like a scroll to top button. Like a lot of web pages have this. Or if it's a super long web page, something might pop up in the bottom right or something somewhere on the screen that says like, hey, scroll back to the top or whatever. And you click it and it automatically scrolls to the top of the page. I think that would be really cool. I think this entire UI could be designed a little bit differently. I'd love to make some mock-ups of that and maybe make a video on my ideas for that. It would be a decent amount of work, so don't expect it anytime soon. You guys know how it goes around here, but <laughs> definitely some things I would add and redesign. Uh, but super stoked that they fixed this little optimization issue that you can now scroll through your inventory while your training energy is regenerating. And so, yeah, I think a little minor addition that they could add right away is just like some type of arrow. Like, I don't know, it could be on the right side here. It could be somewhere on the left. It could be up in the menu, like where you see class, rank, level, recent. It could just be like an up arrow or, or a down arrow. I think there should be an up and a down in case you want to scroll to the bottom of the list. Maybe just an up because you can you can flip the way that these are sorted. And so if you flip it and then scroll up, you're basically scrolling down, if that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, just like an automatic scroll to the top of the list. 
type of button. That would be super cool. Not a huge deal. Definitely not a huge deal. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, man, this is looking good. Looking good. Looks like we're going to get our ST3C all up to level 34, maybe. Maybe. Going to be close. Definitely going to be close. Got a couple five stars there that I'm holding on to. I don't think we have anything else left to burn. And there we go. 5% into level 34. Working on getting that guy maxed out. And so I think that's going to do it for this video. I know it's not a lot of gameplay. Just kind of reporting on a little bug fix there. Something a little bit different. But hopefully you enjoyed it. And yeah, man, check it out. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed it already. Um, let me know if there's any issues on other devices. Like I said, that could be a factor here. And I just don't have every device to test with. Uh, so this is on the iPhone XR. Take it for what it's worth. Let me know how your experience is. Super glad that they did this. And stay tuned for more videos. I'll catch you on the next one. And real quick before you go, you guys know the deal. We got to shout out one of our affiliates here on Gaming Willis to try and get a little more support for the channel. This time we're talking about Shadow. This is a high performance gaming PC available in the cloud. All you need is a stable internet connection. I think they say down here that 15 megabits per second is for optimal performance. Uh, but Shadow has been optimized on most connections, even 4G LTE. And so I can speak from experience. I have played games like uh, Apex Legends, Fortnite, and other PC games that I would not have access to otherwise. So I mainly use a Mac OS computer here and it has worked great. You can get a month by month subscription, get $10 off if you sign up with my link or use my referral code, which I'll put on the screen here. I'll also put in the description and or a pinned comment below here on YouTube. So check it out, man, can't go wrong. And it's a great way to support the channel as well. Let me know if you do sign up, what you think of it, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.